Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that we have at the jewelry store where I work. And it helps me to prioritize and organize. And in the meantime, we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday, and I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, there are eBay links and emails. If there's anything you're interested in, or if you would just like to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message. Anyway, let's get digging. Right, we're here for another episode. And look at this box. Look at it. Oh, it looks like it's been living in a garage. It is in rough, rough shape. Um, but it's heavy, so I know we got some stuff in there. Let's take a look. Oh, lots of stuff. Okay, I'm going to dump that out in front of me. It says Mappins on it, which is a jeweler, of course. Okay, what do we have? Let's see. Here, first of all, is a pair of earrings. Gold tone and enamel with this little triangle and flower pattern. And next, I'm pulling out a pair of clip-ons. But we're missing a rhinestone there. Let's see. They are marked Coro. But like the metal is in rough shape too. You can see it chipping away. So I don't know if that would be something I'd invest any time into trying to fix or not. But probably not. Another pair of earrings. These remind me of apples or tomatoes. But... It's a gold tone and red enamel swirl thing with no, uh, no marks on it. Here's a pair of screw back earrings and they are in rough shape. We're missing uh, the setting and the, the stones. They're little shells. It's made with shells. Oh yeah, not in good shape at all. Those shells are quite delicate, so I'm surprised any of them have survived over the years, but there's those. Here's another pair of earrings, and this time we have hematite cabochons in a gold tone. I like the, the look of the, the setting there. They kind of reminded me of Avon, but they don't say anything on them, so they just are what they are which is probably magnetic. Yeah. They are that. Okay. Here's another pair of clip-ons. And they look like this. They're kind of that cluster style, but they are without stones. It's a rope design and little silver balls. And they say alpaca on the back. Alpaca on the backa. I'll put up on the screen what uh, alpaca means so that we can all learn and move on. Here's another little pair, just a uh, shimmery enamel and gold tone with no marks on the back. What else is here? There's a lot of backs and stuff, so I'm just trying to weed out the garbage. There's this pair. They feel like plastic. Mm, let's see. There's this little pair. Oh, it's just small. Two little bicone black beads. Very small and simple. Um, what else? I think everything else is just like broken or just a back. Yeah, that's what it looks like. A couple of O-rings in there for ear stretchers and stuff, but nonetheless, just a bunch of trash otherwise. Okay, here we have a necklace. And I'm just getting it sorted. Let me back up a bit. So it is a big, chunky, gold tone chain style. 
like this and toward the center there are some of the links have been encrusted with a rhinestone on the back let's just see if we have a mark it doesn't really feel like it it's lightweight it's got that it's you know it's like this sort of punched out feels like it would be fun to wear but chunky chains are in you guys so I would I would wear it I have worn things just like this recently so okay straighten out fly right and scoop it around this side. Okay, let's see. Let me zoom in. How how much? None of it. None of it. Okay. Let's go like that. There. Now we have a little more to see. Here's another brooch. Well, I shouldn't say another brooch. I just filmed the last episode and there was a lot of brooches there. But here is this brooch that's pretty cool different color pieces there we've got like turquoise and what looks like coral and pearl and pink sapphire and amethyst and um peridot and sapphire and anyway it's in a bow shape sort of an asymmetrical leaning bow and on the back zero eight seven zero Hmm. Well, I don't know who that was made by, but correct me if I'm wrong from what I understand when we see a number like that, usually it means that um, it's a reproduction or that something that a brand has brought back um, under the, the patent number or something like that. But here's another brooch. Silver tone, little garnet stones in the flower, and a little bud off the side there. And that's what it looks like on the back. Oh, this is a longish chain. It looks like this. Kind of a braided situation with a textured piece as well. Oh, it's actually a bracelet and a necklace. There's two two clasps there. And it's marked 925. And it's pretty heavy. It would be a substantial chunk of silver. I kind of feel like it's grabby though. It is a little bit grabby. So I would definitely test that before claiming it was anything. Okay, another chain sitting beside me here. I'll just get it out of the way. It's not in good condition. It's goldish, tonish, and uh, well, it's not magnetic. <laughs> Let's look closer at the clasp then. No marks there. I don't have high hopes, but there we are. Next, I've got this little bug. A little teal blue ladybug. And where's the button? Do we just squeeze your arms? Uh-huh. And inside we have a watch. Anti-magnetic. Let's move the arm out of the way. Cordial Deluxe. Oh, and it's a wind-up. Whether it's working or not, that's another question. Well, it's not ticking, that's for sure. Aluminum Cicada Watch. Huh. Well, I wonder what we can find out about that. But I can't imagine that if it's uh, not working. I can't imagine it being worth fixing. That's what I'm trying to say. Here's a nice rhinestone necklace. Clear rhinestones and the clasp is a fold over clasp like this. No mark. And it hangs like this in the center. 
I like that. I like that look. Kind of a spiky look. I can get up on here and dangle down. Lovely. And I've got a ring here. And it looks like a piece of agate in there. Can't really tell. It's not as translucent or at all. I like the um, the claws that are holding it there though. Oh, and it's another Sarah Coventry. like the colors of that. Here's a bracelet. Clear rhinestone bracelet, but looks like we're missing a few. Yeah. It's got these long baguettes, but look at even that one's just set in there crooked and not a good quality. Look for a mark anyway. Nothing I can see. Nothing on the clasp. Okay. Dumping out a bag here. Here's another piece with hematite. Not another one. Again, last episode. Oh no, we have those earrings. Never mind. Here's another piece with hematite. And it's a necklace that's got a few different styles of bead. These ones, do they look like they're coral or anything? They kind of do. Oh my gosh, focus. Gold tone beads and then a clasp like this. And I think that says gold fill, hey? Yeah, 120th gold fill. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I want to dump out this bag. I'll just show you. It's a bunch of loose stuff in there, loose beads. It looks like a couple of things broke once upon a time. There are a couple things that I find interesting, so I'm going to grab them to show at least. Oh, there we go. So these ones I like. It's got a bit of an amber look to it, but it's not amber. Definitely got some kind of a resin with a swirl in it, and these ones are also a plastic. But I like the shape of those. And what else do we have? A whole bunch of these like wooden, wooden beads like this. There's a bunch of those in there. And some pink plastic ones and purple plastic ones. Oh, there's one lonely pair of earrings in here. Let me dig them out. Don't hold your breath. They're not worth the wait. And they are like this. This is a metal and enamel teal greenish. Okay, we're not going to dig any further into that bead bag, but there we have that. And I've got a watch here too. It's in its box. It says Caravel by Bulova. So let's make sure we have what it says in here. Indeed we do. Okay. So... Oh, we got the book and everything. The owner's guide and warranty. We won't read that. What's in here? Some extra pieces to change the length of it. Let's see. And here's the watch. It's actually quite pretty. The band is nice. Bulova. I like the uh, the face of that too. And there's the the clasp area. Nice. Now I'm gonna have to dig into something else here. Okay. Ooh, la lu. Look at that. Now it is amber, but it's reconstituted amber. So it gets heated and pressed and mixed together and pressed together into 
into shapes. This is very pretty though, isn't it? I think it is. It's quite long like this. So there's no clasp and they're knotted in between. And the center of it has this large piece. Look at that. Nice. I think that's really pretty. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, the, the reconstituted amber, but I think that's a winner myself. Yeah, cool. Very cool. And next is a bracelet. It looks like this. The big oval faceted peridot in the middle. And there's all this open work with like a meshiness behind it. It is a... Uh, how do you open it? Oh, look how roughed up it is over here. Hmm. It looks like it's rattan. <laughs> no marks that I can see there, but I can't figure how to open it right now either. Oh, here we go. There we go. I don't see anything there either. It looks plated, but... But plated won't buy me love. So next I have, ooh, oh, this is, this is special. Look at this. That's coral. That's coral cabochon, or it's hardly cabochon. It's, it's like a bun shape almost with these two droppy dangles. And check out the trombone hinge and or trombone clasp and tube hinge very cool let's see if we can see a mark anywhere this is old you can't even harvest coral anymore it's illegal to harvest it so we have what we have in this world in the form of jewelry for now how do you get this guy back in there? Oh, all the way underneath. And then, there we go. Ooh, I think that's pretty special. What is this little mark? Is that actually a mark? Hmm. It might be, but I cannot tell what that could be. There, you can hang up out there. Let's see. Look at that. Ooh, is she pretty? Oops. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. All right, you're just going to come on down here. Okay. Lovely. I love it. Coral, coral, coral. Next up is ooh, a bag within a bag within a bag plus a bag. Okay. Plastic. I have some plastic. And it's looking kind of yucky. Oh, some more plastic. Okay. This is a super long plastic strand of faux pearls. I'm guessing six feet, perhaps. Six feet of faux pearl. Plastic faux pearl, of course. And then this one's kind of fun. Also plastic, but the color is so bright and pretty. And it's graduated down to larger, larger beads. And the clasp is just uh, like that. Wow. All right, next up. Holy guacamole, this is big too. And what the heck even is it? Okay, I thought it was a necklace. It's these black faceted plastic beads. But 
This is all it's got on the ends. Two little ring things. So what the heck do you do with that? Hey, like there's no way to clasp them together. Maybe there was a piece that we're missing that would have helped to attach them. Maybe they hang from something. I don't know. They're plastic though. Like they're not, not uh, any high quality of any kind. And here's one more necklace. It looks like this. It's also very long. This is the link on it, just like an elongated link and it's textured. Um, but it is again, quite a long strand. I don't know. That's kind of cool, I guess. That's probably, I don't know, four feet long, I bet. I bet, I bet. All right. You know what? That's going to be it for today. You know why? Because look at this. Oh, she full, all right. She is full. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe down at the bottom. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday. I'd love you to come and hang out again. And uh, in the description box below, you're going to find links for eBay stores and our emails. So get in touch if there's anything you're interested in or if, uh, if you would just like to say hi. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.